sewing vlog. My name is Julie and this is Julie Saws Her Own Clothes. So I am here in my garden room which is my sewing room. Uh, it is my favourite place to be when I'm at home. Uh, for one it's got all my gorgeous fabrics, all my patterns. It's my little haven and it's also got aircon which is essential on days like this where it's muggy and it I come here um to keep cool and stop my chocolate from melting um so today by a way of introduction I would like to share with you my three favorite makes of um summer 2023 I started my sew sewing my summer wardrobe uh, for this year around the beginning of May and I think I've made 20 garments so far. Now not all of them stayed in my wardrobe, some of them have managed to find their way into other people's wardrobes and uh, suitcases and uh, heading off to various warm climates um, which is quite nice. But actually, I do have three favourite dresses that I've made over the summer that, that are definitely not leaving me. Um, I am definitely keeping them and I want to share with you those three makes today. Um, before I start that, I just want to say this vlog and lark is not easy. I've done about 20 different introductions. I can't seem to keep my eyes facing the camera. That I just want to be distracted by the birds outside the window, by my husband sitting up on the patio, having a beer, pulling faces at me. Uh, anything really other than looking at myself in the camera, it, that's just alien. Uh, but I'll try and stick with it and um, try and get a vlog out. I've attempted this so many times that I, I'm determined I'm going to get there today so um i'm gonna start with what i'm wearing um if i just stand up and show you this is the emea shirt and it's a raglan top with gathered sleeves and a embroidery on glare which i think it's about a meter and a half probably cost me six pound to make um this shirt and I've worn it lords. It's still lovely and bright and it's just nice and um, cool actually on hot days like this. So uh, yeah, it's by, uh, made my wardrobe um, and I'm looking over there because that's where the pattern is. Uh, actually, um, it comes in a UK size 6 to 24. Um, it's a really simple little saw um, and great uh, for beginners. I think I made it last summer. Um, I've got a second um, Amaya um, shirt because this was the first one I made. Really liked it and uh, yeah, made. There's another one sitting in my wardrobe um, that I wear quite a lot as well. Um, so now to my uh, favourite mix for the summer. Um, I would say I've been sewing for almost three years now. And um, to wear dresses that actually I feel confident enough to step outside into the world with a dress on that I've made myself is quite new. I'd say this last six to eight months, I've been much more um, confident in wearing um, my garments outside of my home environment. Uh, 
mainly because I started wearing things for work and my work colleagues are really supportive of um, my sewing and always kind of have a compliment to say about my garments, which actually makes it easier to, um, yeah, to keep wearing things that I've made myself. Um, but I've actually made um, two dresses for a special occasion and one for um, later in the year when um, my husband and I um, have a holiday, uh, which currently isn't booked. Um, so it's going to be a last minute thing as per usual. That's what we do. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a break um, in the beginning of September. So about five weeks away. Um, and yeah, got a few nice dresses that I can wear while I'm aware. So the first one that I am going to share with you is currently being worn by Annie the Manny. And that is the Fleetwood frock um, from So Different Patterns. Now, the Fleetwood frock, I absolutely adored making this. I don't even know if that's straight on the camera, or if the camera's on the wonk there. I just absolutely love um, the construction of this. It's um, I've made it in a cotton poplin um from lee's taylor i'm pretty certain that was from a saw Haley jane subscription box from was it late last year it was definitely last year um but it's lovely crisp fresh cotton um and the design of the um the fleetwood frock i really love it's um, I've got the pattern here, which I know is going to be back to front, but you can see there it's a midi length and it's got a really lovely um, wide uh, empire line bodice um, and uh, airline skirt to it. The pockets, honestly, I scratched my head for about 20 minutes for trying to figure out how the heck... Does the pocket go in the panel? But I just, when I read it properly, it was really quite simple. Um, and just so lovely, so lovely to um, to make up. And the pockets are, I mean, I put my phone in there and it doesn't stick out the top. It's a lovely, lovely deep pocket. It has a side seam zip, which gives it a really nice shape. Um, Today, my husband did take some photographs. Um, I will put them on uh, Instagram uh, later um, today, and I'll see if I can put one in this video, probably over there, if I figure out how to do it. If not, um, have a look on my Instagram channel uh, at Julie Saws Her On Clothes. Um, and you'll see all of my, or almost all of my summer makes. I don't know if they've all gone up there, but certainly quite a few uh, bits of my um, summer sewing is is on there. Um, but yes, this is definitely, definitely one of my favourite dresses. I really love the um, the bodice. There's no gaping. Um, I've got a few square neck tops um that i've sewn and this is probably the one that's got the uh the nicest fit on on the chest area uh the other two um that i've made quite recently just you know gape and i'm really not keen on that this sits really flat and really nice and actually one of the very few dresses that actually looks better on me than it does on Annie. And it normally looks really nice in the clothes. And then I put them on and go, oh, I wished it looked as nice as it does on Annie. But I think this one actually looks better on me than it does her, which is a nice change. But um, yeah, side zip, which keeps it lovely and neat on the uh, body. Uh, I think I need to... Um, I need to 
press that a little bit better because I've got the fearsome showing and it wasn't like that. Uh, it's just the way I pressed it. And love it, love it, love it. I love the fabric. I love the colour of the fabric. I, I really did want to uh, try and find the same fabric as the dress because the, it was actually the fabric that I fell in love with, not necessarily the shape of the dress. Um, but I'm really glad that I did make it because I absolutely love that dress um, and I can't wait to uh, wear it on holiday. Um, so, yeah. One is part of the new retro range and I'm pretty certain I'm going to have a look at the rest of that range because you know when something fits you really well and makes you feel really comfortable and makes you feel good, um, then you definitely need more of that in your life. So I'm definitely going to make um, one of the other um, new retro um, dresses from these uh, so a different pattern range love it i think i did that i did that in a straight size 10 and i didn't make any alterations it pretty much was bang on um my my uk size um which it goes from let me just tell you um it goes from a bust of 33 inches to a bust of 50 and a quarter inches a waist of 26 inches to 44 inches and hip sizing is 36 and a quarter inch up to 52 and a half inch and i made the straight size 10 which is a 34 28 37 that is definitely not my size but actually the finished garment size um is um it's got plenty of ease in which i didn't want it too baggy so i potentially would have gone for a size 12 based on my body measurements but i went for a size 10 based on the finished garment measurements because that yeah there was a lot of ease in in the um in the pattern so I'm going to um, put my next dress on Annie and then show you. Okay, so this is the Seasons of East Summer in New York dress. I love this pattern so much. It's probably the nicest dress I've ever put on that I've sewn myself it feels so elegant and comfortable and I just love the vibe it is very much a kimono style to it I really love the wide sleeves um I didn't exactly follow the instructions it did ask for hand sewing and that's not really what I want to be doing on the front main part of the garment not really confident with hand sewing uh, being neat enough and also the fabric was um, a little bit difficult to work with in that sense so I machine stitched um, the front bodice which came in two panels to give this lovely um, deep um, V front on it. It was a little bit booby for my liking so I probably sawed it up a good inch and a half more than what the uh, pattern required but I really love the uh, the length of it. It is very much a fitted bodice with a a zip that goes up under the side panel and up into the arm which absolutely baffled me when i was um trying to sew it in because it kind of you know it's on a curve and i really wasn't getting how that would work um but i just used a bit of steer tape and my other dress has just fallen off the mirror 
uh, and it was actually fine. Um, this uh, version of the dress, I think, well, I made this um, as a twile because I wanted to make, um, I wanted to make this dress for my birthday, which is in about two weeks time. Um, and I really fell in love with the fabric that the uh, the pattern designer um, showcased the dress on its release, which is a Lady McElroy. And actually, I'll show you next. So I'll not tell you about that just yet. But I did make this dress. Um, what fabric did I use? I'm pretty certain this is also a Lady McElroy fabric. Um, it's from the, it's another one that's from uh, a Sohaili Gian subscription uh, box, um, which is a package that I get every month with beautiful fabrics and a pattern and lots of notions and all kinds of sewing goodies. Um, that Haley curates and I absolutely adore because the looks box that I get has really beautiful fabrics in. Um, so this is one of the fabrics. The dress is, um, it has a side split, which you can't see unless I lift Annie up, which is a bit awkward. Um, but the back has... Um, darts which make the skirts lovely and fitted and there's a gathered uh, element to the the uh, top of the blouse which I think looks it looks and feels really lovely on um, and then on the front there are also um, there are also very small uh, pleats here, which look like darts, um, but there's a lovely little um, side split on both the front and the back. Uh, I will try and put some pictures up. Um, if not, again, this one is definitely on my Instagram uh, grid. Absolutely adore that dress. In fact, I love it that much. When I made the twile, I was kind of like, this could be the dress that I do wear on my birthday. I've never made a birthday dress for myself before. Um, I just thought it'd be really nice to uh, prepare for um, my birthday and with something that I've made especially for myself. So whilst this was the twirl, I absolutely love it. I really love it. And it might be the one that I end up wearing on the day, but equally love the other one as well which I'm, I'm going to show you in a minute I'm looking down at my knots I've got my little sewing notebook that I put all of my makes in I'm trying to find my knots about this dress I can't say I don't think I I don't think I ah the twill so this is a viscose lawn and it is from Lady McElroy. Um, yeah, I am going to show you the uh, the other version of the dress uh, right now. Okay, so this is the birthday dress, and this is a beautiful uh, viscose crepe from Lady McElroy. Um, it is the Oriental Koi in a beautiful teal colour. It's looking a little bit darker on the screen than what it is, but it is so light, so pretty. I absolutely adore it. Um, yes, yeah, so who knows which of the two um, dresses I will be wearing on my actual birthday but I am quite chuffed that I have two gorgeous dresses now if you actually get to see this video I'm pretty certain you will know the person who 
is responsible for me actually having this dress in my wardrobe and that is the amazing Adele, Adele from um, South Fork Serenity. Um, Adele made this dress in a Lady McElroy fabric. I think it's the Night, Night Lake, something like that. It's a beautiful, beautiful fabric that is... Um, a scene from uh, a, a night two women about to go into the water at night time in the lake i mean it sounds bonkers but do check out do check out her video um it's the more sensational dress and it just absolutely before i'd even finished watching her video i'd ordered the pattern um, and it was in my inbox, um, yeah, before I even went back and finished watching her video, I was just so taken by how amazing the dress looked on her. Um, and I do love it. So I thank you, Adele, um, for choosing my birthday dress for me. I absolutely love it. Um, and I can't wait to wear it and potentially... The only person who's going to watch this video could well be my husband. So a message to you, Chris, make sure you take me somewhere nice because I want to wear it. OK, so they are uh, my three favourite dresses for summer 2023. Um, and yeah, and he's wearing it quite nicely over there. Um. Okay, so that I think I'm going to call that a dear um, and uh, see if I can figure out how to edit those video clips together to make my first, yeah, my first release. Um, I'd like to uh, do a video uh, next with some of my... Um, patterns that I've got cut out ready. What am I making next? Um, I have the Fabric Godmother peony dress. I think it's just, I'm not sure if you can see it, just be, let me just give me a little shuffle along there. Um, I have the pattern pieces cut out and I have the fabric pieces cut out so I'm making the peony in the uh, the midi um, length version and I'm making it in this really lovely viscose crepe um, I think it's nice and flowy and I think it's going to look very pretty again that, that could well be finished in time for our summer break our little holiday, which probably will be somewhere like Devon. I don't think we're going to go abroad. Um, we've literally spent a fortune having a loft conversion on our bungalow here in Essex. It's um, still in process, although I think it's just the bathroom fittings now. Um, and yeah, that's been a it's been a very expensive year for us, so I think we'll probably um, have a little trip to um, to Devon or Cornwall or Hampshire. Um, yeah, some of our favourite places along the south uh, the south coast. So yeah, if I can get the peony um, dress made up in time for that. That would be great, which um, I've also got the Bernadette skirt cut out from Friday Pattern Company. And I've got some uh, some nice fabric. So maybe I'll do a little fabric show uh, um, next video. I'll show you what I've got, what I'm going to make um, next. And yeah, I look forward to that. Should I ever get this one out? Um, 
we shall see. I've also been making knickers. Now, if you've not made a pair of knickers for yourself, then you don't know the secret. I don't think I've purchased a pair of knickers since I started sewing my own. They are comfort level. I mean, it's just so different to, yeah, purchase knickers, constantly pulling them out of your bum. They're just not comfortable. Doesn't they're either too baggy and slip and slide about, or they're too tight and constantly having to tug them out of places where they shouldn't be. So I have been uh, doing a batch of knickers, and I've been sewing some knickers for my friend who um, put a request in. Now normally. The rule is I do not do sewing to order for anybody. Um, sewing is my hobby. I absolutely love it. I think the minute I start taking orders, I start to feel pressure and actually I've got a full-time job that takes enough of my um, mental capacity to absorb pressure. I definitely don't want that to be included in my hobby um so when someone asks if they could pay me to make a garment my answer is always no thank you um nice to think that people think i'm good enough at it for them to want to part with their hard-earned cash but i am definitely definitely not in that market um but i do like to uh, make garments to um, give to people now and again as a gift, birthday gift, whatever. Um, and I, um, I've literally made um, these pants to um, show my friend that actually making pants isn't the hardest thing on the planet and I'm going to actually teach her how to make her own so she can come here and sew up her own. So I've made, I'll show you one of the pairs, oh, actually these I think are very cute, the high waisted um, pants. So they are not staying with me, they are going to someone else and they are pretty cool power pants. Um, I would wear them if I, well, one if they fitted me, but they're not my size. But I would wear high waist. They come right up to your belly button and they are designed to kind of hold you in nicely. I would wear them if I was having an interview and I, they would be my power pants that made me feel like I could achieve anything. So, yep, they are going, um soon and I also made a, a shorter pair of pants um, because I think I can convince my little friend that she can sew her own pants too. So on that note I can see at the corner of my eye my husband is walking down the garden towards me and I just know he's going to do something very stupid like pull his pants up to his waist up to his armpits or something uh, I'm not going to look at him I am going to say a thank you if you managed to stay with me to this point uh, in my first vlog and I hope to be back real soon with uh, some of my new makes and my fabric. So again, thank you for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, can you just give me a like and it'll be great if you subscribe and could say you were one of my first. Um, if not, don't worry about it. I won't take offence. Um, but yeah, hope to see you, see you soon. Uh, have a good week and I hope you saw something nice for yourself. Bye.